Hi guys, my name is Marcel van der Berg and I'm a course director. And today I want to talk about a very important topic in scuba diving, especially to new divers, which is the easiest way to equalize your ears. Now, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to stay updated in the future for any tips and tricks in scuba diving, then please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that bell to get a notification every time we upload a new video. So, when we go scuba diving and we go under the water, we are going to experience an increase of pressure. Now, in our body, we have a couple of air spaces and that's what we need to equalize to counter effect this pressure change. Now, where are these air spaces? Well, first of all, we got the sinuses that are right here behind your face. Now, your sinuses are then connected with these two little tubes that go to your ears and your eardrums. Then we got a very big air space right here, which are our lungs. And then we got a little bit of air in between our mask and our face. Now, all of these air spaces we need to equalize to enjoy scuba diving. Now, how to equalize our lungs or our mask, that's a topic for another video for another day. Today, I just want to focus about how to equalize your ears in a much more easier way. Now, there's actually not one way how to equalize your ears. You actually have multiple different ways that you can choose. Now, the most popular way to equalize your ears, though, is called the Velzelva maneuver or most people just say it, pinching off the nose. Now, the way you do it is basically you close your nose like this with your fingers and then you breathe out, but you also close your mouth. So the air cannot go through your mouth and it will force itself into those two little tubes, which is called the eustachian tubes. And the air goes now directly towards our eardrums, bending it back again every time we do it like this. I think you've seen this on TV already whenever you look at scuba divers that are going down. Now why is it so important then to do this? It's because let's say this is your eardrum and this will be the outside of your ear and then here we got those two little tubes or in this case one tube of course that goes to the sinuses. Now when we go under the water, the water will flow into your ear and will hit that eardrum and start bending it in. Now in the beginning you don't even feel that actually maybe up to half a meter depending on the person you might not even feel a thing now let's say that you go deeper than that and you don't equalize your ears which is bad so don't do that just to make a point and see what happens all right you go a few meters down and now the eardrum bends in like that yeah this starts feeling uncomfortable like there's something in your ear that's why we see a lot of people that forgot how to equalize like moving and touching their face and like there's something inside all right, let's say now you go even deeper without equalizing, which you shouldn't do again. Now what's happening, your eardrum is gonna bend in like that. Yeah, and that's gonna feel really discomfortable or even painful. Now, if you then decide to push it even more, yeah, now you have a chance of damaging your ear. But for a lot of people, you actually have to quite far to do that and you have to go through a lot of pain to get there. So don't worry too much because what we're trying to do today is to never get you in that situation in the first place. What we're trying to do today is to tell you that you should equalize not a few meters like a lot of people say, but equalize all the time. So if you, for example, start from the top and you go down and you pinch your nose and you go... You keep pressing that air back into that eardrum. And if you do this all the time, it doesn't matter how deep you're going, your eardrum will never reach that point that it actually feel discomfortable or even painful. A great second technique that you can use then is to swallow. If you ever wonder when you're in an airplane and you might have had some ear problems that maybe the steward or the stewardess comes up to you and gives you some candy or some peanuts to eat. This actually makes you swallow and that can help you to equalize your ears. There's even people that prefer swallowing over equalizing when they go scuba diving. Now, Another really cool technique to use if that doesn't work out is to wiggle your jaw. Like it. Left and right, forwards, backwards. And if you're doing this as well, you can actually equalize your ears too. Now, some people, they even need to do all of it at the same time. This is gonna look actually a little bit funny. You can see them maybe hanging on the line and they're trying to equalize like this. And <laughs> they're going down and they're going down. And I know it's a little bit funny, but in the end of the day, who cares? Diving is not a glamorous sport, and if that makes you actually enjoy all the beautiful life, then go for it. Now, 
Right now, maybe we can have a try ourselves back home. But be very, very careful though. Because same as under the water, we need to be very careful doing this too hard, okay? So right now back home, let's try the Velzelva one, the most popular one. Do it nice and gently, but try to do it longer. That's the trick. And see if you can feel both ears squeaking. Just pinch that nose, close that mouth, and gently blow out just a little bit longer, like this. Do you feel it? Now, you might feel one ear a little bit better than the other, or maybe even only one ear. Now, if that's the case, then there's probably a little bit of congestion blocking one of those ears on the inside in your eustachian tubes. Now, we're gonna talk about how to get rid of that in a second. Okay, let's try the other one. Let's try swallowing right now. Feel it? I can feel both ears right now. Not as effective as the other one, but hey, that's just the way it works with me. Okay, let's use that uh, wiggling of the jaw. Do you feel that? Again, it depends. Some people feel that more stronger than the other techniques or the other techniques work best for them. Okay, nobody's watching, right, in your house right now. So why don't we just try them all at the same time and see how you feel that. <laughs> all right, I, I think I just overdone it a little bit. But you can see that is really, really effective. So if you have issues, give it a try before you go back to the boat and go back to land. So like I just said, when you are trying to equalize right now, you might actually feel one ear a little bit better than the other ear. Now, that's because of probably a little bit of congestion somewhere blocking any of your sinuses or tubes to equalize your ears. So same as on land, how do we get rid of that congestion? It's just by blowing your nose. Now, what we see and hear a lot from especially new divers, they go, oh yeah, but see, there is no congestion. I feel great. My airways are fantastic. But what they don't know is that maybe there's a little bit of congestion somewhere really tucked away inside of your sinuses. I highly, highly recommend before any dive you do, just before you descend, is to blow your nose on the surface. Now, remember what I just said before. You can not only blow your nose on the surface, you can actually do it under the water as well. And this is one of the best tricks that you can use if you have problems equalizing your ears. So let's go back to where we actually had a problem. So let's say that you're at, I don't know, five meters and there's too much broader pressure on your eardrum and it feels discomfortable. So remember what we said, the way to solve it is just to go up a little bit. Try it again, doesn't work out. Maybe a little bit more, try it again. Different techniques. If still all the techniques like Felselva, swallowing or wiggling the jaw does not work, then before you decide to really go up, maybe blow your nose under the water because there's probably some congestion that you can get out. Now, the way to do it though, this is very important, do not take your mask off. Leave the mask on your face and just kind of look, if nobody's looking at you, and just kind of go. All right, there's a little bit of that stuff in your mask right now. Just clear it by breathing out of your nose. All right, just remember that blowing your nose and clearing the congestion does not equalize your ears. You still have to use any of the techniques we discussed Velzelva, swallowing or wiggling the jaw to equalize it. Oh, how many times I went up to students, we went up and up and we tried so many different techniques and in the end they blow their nose and they go and you can see the relief on their eyes and then it just makes it so much easier to go down. To be honest though, you know, I've known people that always have to blow their nose a little bit once in a while going down just to make it easy for them and enjoy scuba diving. Now guys, all of these techniques are really, really easy to do. But it is very, very important though that we think about a couple of things. First of all, never, ever, ever equalize too hard. Okay? Some people, they feel a lot of pressure because they wanna go down to see the fish, uh, dive time. They're in a group and they feel like they're holding up the group. Guys, take your time doing this. And most importantly, again, don't do it too hard. Sometimes I see people trying to equalize like this and they're you can see them trying so hard, but you can now actually damage something inside which is called the round window. So extremely important, equalize always gently. The trick is just do it longer. 
and you build up that pressure and then it will squeak. The same counts for blowing off the nose. Some people go, Whoa, it actually is very uncomfortable. Just do it gently, but longer. Let it build up and everything will come out. Cool? Now, if it just really doesn't work, all these techniques do not work. Hey, it happens to all of us. Just cancel the dive and there's always another dive. Don't keep pushing it and, and maybe get yourself injured in the process. To be honest, it doesn't matter how experienced some of us are, some of us have thousands of dives. And still, we have to sometimes cancel the dive because it just doesn't work out for that day. That doesn't mean you have special ears. It doesn't mean you cannot go scuba diving. It just means you have a bad day. And the next day, try it again and you find out it will work like a charm. All right guys, I really hope that these tips and tricks on how to equalize your ears will make it much more easy for you to go scuba diving. Now, if you're new to this channel, remember to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you will get a notification every time I upload a new video. Now, if you know better ways of equalizing your ears or different ways, then please leave your comments below. And also don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. All right, happy diving everybody.